this episode of Game Over. Lots of news points to talk about. First and foremost, MC Mericom, Chumizang Mangte Mericom will be India's flag bearer along with Manpreet Singh, our hockey captain at the Tokyo 2020 Olympiad. Breaking news coming in. MC Mericom and Manpreet Singh will be India's hockey bearer, uh, flag bearer at the Tokyo 2020 Games. Bajrang Punia, famed to win India a medal for sure, will be India's flag bearer at the closing ceremony. India will have 126 athletes and 75 officials representing them at the Tokyo Olympiad of 2020. The Indian Olympic Association has made the announcement. Out of the 126 athletes, I expect at least 10 men. That's what I expect from this contingent, which will be led at the opening ceremony by none other than Mary and Manpreet. Mary, I absolutely remember having covered her in London at that Games. First time women's boxing was introduced, Mary Com going on to win that medal. What a delight that was. The next day at a felicitation ceremony, she got lost. I had gone to fetch her and you know she was so angry because the taxi driver had dropped her off and got away. But here's Mary Kong. I mean, what a journey from getting her photograph published in the newspaper, changing her name so that her father doesn't recognize her and doesn't get angry, to this wonderful, wonderful career and perhaps the greatest of all time. It has been a stellar journey for Chugne Zang Mante, Mary Kong. For Manpreet, if he makes the podium, the hockey boys have done enormous amount of hard work to make the podium this time round. Can they do it? Hopefully they can. The second news point of the day, wishing a very, very happy, healthy and safe birthday to one of our greatest, Pusarla Venkat Sindhu, a very dear friend and I absolutely distinctly remember those days in Rio. Sindhu was getting ready for that big stage, that quarter-final against Wang Yihan, that semi-final against Nozomi Okohara. Think of the semi-final, 10 all in the second set. 11 straight points, 21-10, Piri Sindhu clinches it, India gets its medal, she's made it to the, to the final against Carolina Marine. Still gives me goosebumps to think of those moments. And then in the final, she gave it her all. Can she go one better? No Carolina Marine means Rakta Chok Intanon, Akane Yamaguchi, Nozomi Okuhara, Tai Zuin, big, big field. But can Sindhu make it count in Japan? She's training very hard at the Gachiboli Stadium under Park, the South Korean coach, and is in top shape physically and mentally. Can Sindhu go the distance? Anyone who knows Sindhu will believe that she indeed can. She has every, you know, sort of uh, talent, potential, determination, commitment to her sport to be able to go on and win India's second medal. And I absolutely vividly remember one comment by her that the world may have changed. My everything may have changed, finances and all, I haven't. We want the athlete in PV Sindhu to take center stage, come Japan and make the country proud once again. So wishing her a very, very happy birthday. The third news point, we are all set for the Euros and the semi-finals. England, again, will the trophy come home? Will it come home this time round at the Wembley? Fantastic Wembley semi-final for the English versus the Danes and you know the Danes doing it for Christian Eriksen and the English and the Harry Kane doing it for a trophy starved country how important is this for England the other semi-final two top giants of European football Spain take on Italy at the Wembley my prediction England versus Italy final the two top sides according to me a Raheem Sterling versus the Italian defense a Harry Kane versus the Italian defense what a contest, Roberto Mancini versus Gareth Southgate it will be. The fourth news point, Wimbledon saying it is the first sports event after the pandemic, since the pandemic, to have a full house at Centre Court going forward, clearly showing that the English will gradually learn to live with COVID. Hospitalizations and deaths very low means vaccination working against also the Delta variant. The country will open up and Wimbledon is a case study. We will have a packed center court to sort of salute and celebrate people like Roger Federer and Novak Djokovic as we near 
the home stretch of Wimbledon. What a moment it will be for the Swiss King and the Serb Novak Djokovic. Can he equal and go past? Will be a massive, massive moment in uh, Wimbledon history when we have the two of them stepping out at Wimbledon Centre Court. That's what I have for you today. This edition of Game Over. Once again, wishing Mary and Manpreet all the best as India's flag bearers. Wishing Sindhu a very happy birthday. I will be back tomorrow with another edition of Game Over. Till then, thank you very much for watching.